all right welcome to my channel or welcome back i'm intuitive empress thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today this is a general message for my tauruses my sun my moon my, my rising and my venus sign so take what resonates and leave the rest in other words while we're feasting on this meal on today, don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke on the bones. All right. If you are a cross watcher, please flip the energies as needed. Take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. Anything concerning getting services from me is in the description. So please check that out. If you would like to donate, my cash app is in the description as well as my PayPal. All right. Thank you for those who have donated. Thank you for those who have made purchases on my Etsy shop. That link is in the description. Uh, you know, you can get the gift items, the crystals, the manifestations, um, the jewelry, the oracle cards. All right. And I do have a new oracle deck that I have created, Intuitive uh, Visions Tarot, Intuitive Visions Tarot. All right, it is my take on the tarot deck, okay? So hopefully you will like that and you can check that out. That is not on the Etsy shop just yet. Let me know if you do like these cards and I will make that available there, okay? So we do have imprisonment, all right? We have the family room and we have a child, okay? So for some of you, what I'm getting here that in your home you feel imprisoned, all right? You, uh, possibly because you have a child. Um, you could have the initials of H. You can have the initials of C or M. All right. This child is, as you can see, very young, under the age of 18. So it could be someone that's very young, but the child is between the ages of infancy to 18. All right. Um, and this is, could be why that you're feeling um, trapped in your home. Maybe this is a relationship that you want to get out of all right um but we do have any moment now that this is the right time Taurus, and in the next couple of days all right so this could be someone you have children with or you just have children and you're in a situation um with that okay all right so you could be moving in the next couple of days um making your escape in the next couple of days um or, I don't know, maybe you feel trapped by a child. Um, like somebody trapped you into motherhood or fatherhood. It happens in both scenarios. All right, so let's get some angel numbers for you, uh, Taurus. Or this could be a person that's on your mind. They feel trapped in another relationship in which they have children. All right. Hmm. What angel number? Oh, okay. Holy Spirit came right out. We have eight. We have infinite success with the number eight. Um, it says infinite success and abundance are yours. Alignment with your higher purpose, inner wisdom. For some of you, um, you could be trapped, uh, feeling trapped or imprisoned um, by childhood memories. Okay. Um, things in spirit and in... in um, and I'm not going to say work because we have the home right there. This is something that def that's definitely a matter of something that's going on in the home. All right. Holy Spirit, final beginning energy and messages. Holy Spirit for the sign of Taurus. All right. We do have happiness, optimism, and honesty. So after you come through what you have been going through, um... There is going to be a sense of happiness or maybe um, optimism has been coming towards you when you weren't feeling very optimistic. Okay. But your freedom is coming. All right. All right. So let's get into the Tarot. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for our Tauruses? Mm. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe you're um, feeling trapped by debt. 
okay because ten of pentacles in the upright is unexpected windfall of money but in the reverse is finances being slow um not having any finances um we do have the queen of pentacles okay so you might not be used to this um your sign is coming out taurus because the queen of pentacles is a taurus okay um you're used to being successful and grounded and down to earth but you're experiencing some financial difficulties we do have the star card of hope all right renewal faith rejuvenation positivity all right so you could be uh going through a process of rejuvenation and healing all right pulling on your strength maybe you lost a job recently and now if you're going for a job that job is going to come to you all right or you could have had an upheaval when it came to with the tower of your financial situation a sudden change that affects your household that affects your children all right um we do have the emperor card here we have a father or a ceo figure so this could have been a situation in the tower that you had with a boss okay um, this could be somebody who was um, cold-hearted in tyranny, someone who was stubborn, um, or this is could be how they see you, okay? This is Aries energy here, so you could be dealing with an Aries, all right, in this situation. Um, you could have had a season where you were melancholy, where you, um, you know, were really sad, all right, but... Uh, clarity has come to you sudden awareness has come to you for what is going on and i do feel like you're choosing happiness as opposed to being stagnant okay um in this situation on the bottom of the deck we do have the two wands you making a decision um you have been given an option there's two paths that you could take all right in this decision you have to make some uh in this situation you have to make some decisions uh, in this situation, there are options that are available to you for you to progress. You just need to make those first steps. And for some of you, you may have already made those first steps. All right. Um, right under it, we have the Ten of Wands. Some of you are feeling um, overwhelmed. Some of you are feeling burdened, feeling um, like you have a lot of obligations going on. All right. Um, all right. If you like this part of the message, Taurus. Let me know by liking this video. Remember, um, if you are one of the highest signs, one to three, then you will be getting a bonus reading. All right, that is available to you if you join the membership to be able to utilize that or even my Patreon if you already have a Patreon account. All right, so let's just get a little bit of clarity of what was, is going on in this situation. Wow. So we have um, someone switched up on you. All right. This could be romantic or it could be, again, work or it could be um, a friend or a family member. Okay. This person was acting brand new. So you were like, bye. All right. I'm out of here. Uh, peace and out. Thank you. Next. Not caring and leaving. Like, not saying that you're full hearted, but just not... Um, feeding into this person's nonsense this person wanted to treat you like a doormat they thought you were naive thought that you didn't know what you were worth was trying to take a um advantage of you with the filter card we have things are not as it seems. people who were sugarcoating the truth alter altering the appearances this could be a shapeshifter going on in this situation Hmm. This person was dodging you. This person could have been um, very aggressive to you because we have violence on the on the thing. Um, so this could have been a domestic situation. Um, trying to be good for the YouTube censors out there. Um, this is someone avoiding you, uh, dodging you, um, dismissing you, um, and acting like they've lost interest in you if they've had interest in you from the beginning and not just being a user okay um this is someone who um if they're coming back into your energy or they want to come back now they're lacking options okay this is someone who thought you were easily influenced or they were easily influenced and a follower 
Okay, so that's what we have with that. Hmm. Holy Spirit, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on. Going back to Tarot. We have the Ten of Coins in the upright now. Wow. The Ten of Coins on the Ten of Pentacles is the same thing. We have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So this could be this person losing money. It doesn't necessarily have to be you losing money. All right. Um, but these persons see you as having money. All right. Or you could have someone gossiping saying that you married for money. Um, or your person could have married for money. Take it as it resonates. All right. We do have... Um, Okay, I, I, I have to get it. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and this card is in reverse. I have to go by the picture on this one. Okay, so, um, because it's right on both sides. This is a Virgo energy. Also, because we have heavy Virgo energy, because this fell on that. Um, this is someone who, um, you know, is coming after you for money, or coming after someone for money. This is someone who lost a great deal of money. They, it could have been family money because uh, we do have someone bankrupt or the um, contract that they signed wasn't in their favor. Hmm. This could, this person could be going through a family feud or maybe you are. With the Queen of Pentacles, we have the hangman in the upright. All right. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, you could be having an aha moment. Changing your perspective, going through a spiritual awakening, all right? Having an epiphany, letting go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you, all right? Anything else but a Taurus, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God. Oh, on the star card, we have the King of Swords showing up in the upright, all right? You're somebody that does things by the book, okay? Um... You're using mind over matter, mind over your heart in this situation. Um, you could also be um, having a, a court case because this card is something of legal matters. This is the Libra card is balance. All right. This is um, Leo is the card of uh, court systems. All right. So, um, hmm. Wow. If you have a court case going on, it's going to work in your favor. You have truth on your side and you have the receipts is what I'm hearing. Clarify the tower. What was the tower about, Holy Spirit? Hmm. This is about uh, codependency. So this was someone who was very codependent, um, a very emotionally uh, imbalanced or someone who was not emotionally available to you. This is someone who took extremes because they thought you were gullible all right this is someone who will wallow in a loss very imbalanced wow we also have the three of cups all right so this is a card of collaboration active live uh active listening and i'm sorry it's the three of coins so when it comes to this emperor this is someone um that might be coming in for a business deal or this might be a new manager that sees your stuff that actually works with you as a team all right this is particularly for someone who is uh needing a new job this is not going to be like the old situation all right hmm so on the four of cups here we have the four of cups this is someone with a scarcity mindset, or if you are in a scarcity mindset, change that mindset because the good things is coming. We have um, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy, and more Capricorn energy. So take that as it resonates. This could be you or someone in your situation um, with you, the person that's on your mind. We have more Virgo energy, heavy Virgo energy in this message, Taurus. All right, but this is also the rewards of your labor, status, and abundance. Okay, it's coming to you. Being you're going to be able to be self-sufficient. All right, um, you might be on your own for a while, but take it easy um, because you are going to have more freedom than you've ever had, and your wish is fulfilled. On the bottom of the deck, we do have the nine of cups. This is your wish fulfillment, 
coming in. This is Piscean energy. You're going to be completely intent, uh, content. Your wishes are going to come true. You're going to be feeling good, feel, full, fulfilled, happy, and satisfied. That is awesome, Taurus, for you. Okay, this could be coming in the new year. We only um, have about a week left in this year. Wow. All right, so thank you. If you like this part of the message, don't forget to like this video, uh, comment in the comment section, and share this video out. All right, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, Father God, what messages do we have for our Tauruses? All right, we have shut down. Wow, I think you're going to shut this person down. Yeah, because whoever you were dealing with, whether it was work, whether it was in a home, um, whether it is a family member, um, you were good narc supply. This person saw you as prey to their being a predator. This person is going to come in and say they miss your cooking. Um, but Holy Spirit is saying make time for yourself. All right. I do feel like you're going to shut this person down. And the Holy Spirit is saying job well done in this situation. All right. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more into this. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for our Tauruses? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right. We do have an Aries in this situation. We did just do the Aries reading. So if you are an Aries, um, I mean, if you are dealing with an Aries Taurus, um check out that reading a cross watcher that's an aries is watching me that's why i said if if you are an aries um so um i guess somebody's looking to see what's going on your person is saying do you boo you miss their cooking you may miss their cooking no matter what sign aries whatever if you're a cross watcher they're saying you neglected me so do you boo i'm making time for myself Wow. Anything else? Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels with the Most High God for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, South Node, North Node. You could be um, um, also an Aries Sun with Taurus placements, and that's why you're watching as well. Hmm. We have the, your Divine Masculine or Feminine um, has turned karmic. So if you were doing dealing with an Aries, um, it came that this person is not the person you know. When you met them, they were divine, feminine, or masculine. Um, when they left, they were already starting to turn karmic, but they are um, um, securely in that karmic energy. This person who was emotionally um, abusive to you. Okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God? Yeah, somebody's lying to themselves about how the situation is going to unfold. This person was not nice. Don't hold on to grudges. Keep it moving. You hinder your blessings when you're holding on to grudges, when you're holding on to hate. All right? All right. There is a new love coming in for you, Taurus. Hmm. There is someone... Um, that's a new love. You just have to cut off the old. Okay. Um, this person that you cut off is jealous of you. They were cold hearted towards you. You could have been in a relationship, um, for 16 to 20 years. Um, you could have a child that's, um, 16 years old, not 20. Cause we have child from 18. Um, or this could be an adult child for some of you. Okay. And they could be, um, in this age range for some of you you could have been in a relationship with this person for 16 to 20 years all right the person that's cold-hearted this was a divine union as we can see because we had the divine masculine or feminine here to match your divine nature all right um that was um that has ended but it doesn't mean that that god can't give you someone else okay and you were wondering, pondering why things happen. This person tur turned karmic. They made decisions. We all make certain decisions um, in our lives. 
okay so that's what you have to realize this person made the choice that they were going to make in this situation all right don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video out thank you for joining me i'm going to stop here and uh have a happy new year because the next uh zodiac signs will not be until that time um have a merry christmas because that is coming up this monday all right Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.